All right, so let's talk Zillow. <clears throat> I got a call from a guy. Uh, and he's an agent that's contributed to us before and even contributed to us on a little bit of the back end of what was happening in Zillow. And uh, he said he had met with a client. He'd gone over some comparables with them and was about to list their property. Uh, they got an offer from Zillow for $84,000 over what his comp suggested. And now, he's a pretty good agent. It's not like he was just you know going by six-month-old comps. Right. He knows his stuff. And so he's like, this is way out of the market. How recent was this? Was this in the last few weeks? Yeah, it was very okay. recent. So even though the market is crazy, 84 grand is nutty. In, in his market, 84 grand was like an outlier. It would be an outlier. They'd be the luckiest sellers in history, I think, in the area. Right. So, so he called uh, a coach of his who is the number one uh, or number two agent in a state. And so I'm, I'm being real careful with how I'm saying this. So he's the number one or number two agent in the whole state and a big Zillow flex person. Okay. And they said not flex, right? Not, not flex like me, their flex uh, program, flex program, right? Yeah, He so doesn't he use Zillow program. to flex on people. <laughs> right. So he said, Oh man, I was afraid this would happen, but this is sooner than I anticipated. And he said what he had been hearing through the grapevine is that the traffic was going down on Zillow, which Dan, you, you kind of looked up some information. Maybe you can find that again and find that. So, so he said that the traffic was going down on Zillow or the, maybe the inquiries were going down, which is harder for us to track, but we can actually check the website traffic, but they were purchasing properties in order to ensure listings on their website so that people would inquire about them. And then, they could basically sell those inquiries to real estate agents on the flex program or that are paying agents that are paying for the leads. So basically this is like a store buying inventory um, and then putting that inventory in their store. So people have to come to their store for that inventory. Uh, I'm not shocked by this at all. As a matter of fact, I think a couple of months ago we talked about the Zillow offers uh, being uh, where you could click one button click and you could sell your home uh, for this estimate price in, uh, I think it was 20 different markets. It was over 500,000 homes that were available for this. Yeah. And, and I, the newscaster, if you remember when we discussed this article, the newscaster said, how much are you guys making on the flip? And the, the guy that was uh, chief analytics officer of some sort was like, uh, 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 he was stuttering and saying, and basically said, we're not making, we're not really focused on what we're making off the flip. And I said, this is like somebody buying a billboard and then selling the leads off of that to agents uh, that are paying them referral fees. Right. And uh, there were some comments we got. Some people said, ah, oh, that's crazy talk. They're trying to make money on the flip. Flip is a business. I said, no, it's not their business. It's just it is their a model. business, but not their business. Yeah. It's just a model to be able to sell those, those leads to real estate agents. So let's say they go 84K over, but then they sell 20 leads to real estate agents off of that, that then pay them $5,000 a piece. Right. Well, they're in the money. For Easy. not much work for one listing. And then that listing can mm -hmm. sell, they can take the loss on it. Yep. And then they write it up as, you know, in their, their quarterly statement as, no, we made all this money, but we have a net loss of 327 million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which or is whatever. one of the things we were talking about, about the, all right. the net losses attributed to the iBuyers. So I wanted it's to put that in cost of business. A part of the reason of putting that out there is I wanted to spur on the discussion either now or in the Be More Contributors chat or in just a chat later if you want to reach out to me personally or Dan personally like this guy did. I want to know if that's happening in your market, if you guys are kind of keeping tabs on that. I know Glenda Baker is uh, keeping tabs on before she lists the property what the estimate is, as she lists the property what the estimate is, and then every day after that. And she's tracking the activity on those estimates too because the Zillow Flex program and Zillow agents are in her marketplace. So it's just interesting information. I personally, I don't have anything hugely negative against Zillow. I think it's just a different business model. Some people are like, they're out to, to get us and replace us. I think they're only ever going to make up five to 10% of the marketplace. That leaves 90% of the marketplace for me to play in. So I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I think the biggest concern if I was concerned would be an investor looking for a quick flip. That's going to be much harder to come by these days than it was previously. With yeah, and as I was uh, going through articles for you know this week, there was one. It's not. Uh, it, it, I don't think it was show worthy. I didn't even bring it up. We we do a pre show thing on Clubhouse every Tuesday, by the way, usually around noonish my time. So yeah, 
Yeah, so 3, 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. on the cheese toast and, and 2 o'clock for Ray. But yesterday was about 2.30 his time. Um, but it, I saw one, and it was – there's less and less flips going now because the margins are smaller and smaller. And yeah. uh, I've sold a couple this year to investors – you know, pretty beat up homes that, you know, should have gone to investors, but their margins, they had to sacrifice a lot, you know, instead of, you know, just, Hey, we'll do a three day uh, inspection period. And then maybe we'll try to get the the price back uh, through a $5,000 credit or something. They're not, they're just like, okay, whatever's wrong with it. I'm good with it. And then they're just kind of taking what they can. One of them turned it into a rental. So I thought that was a smart move because he's, mm. you know, maybe he'll sell it down the road. Uh, but it's a rental for now, uh, and then maybe he can sell it later. But now he's getting his money back, kind of, you know. But uh, the margins are less. So that article kind of said there's less and less uh, investors happening right now because the margins are so small. But Zillow doesn't care about that. So yeah, they're just buying it. They're buying billboards essentially. They're they're yeah. you know these houses are their billboards, and they get to put a sign out in front. Think about that. You, yeah, you know. I was, gonna, I was just gonna say that it's kind of the same as these real estate agents that'll take your uh, five hundred thousand dollar house and list it at nine hundred thousand because just, they get the sign in the yard and it's a bill. It's a free billboard for them. If it's out there for marketing. Yeah, yeah, six months or whatever the term of that contract is, and Zillow gets not only do they get to sell these leads through any calls they get on it, they get to sell them to agents. They also get to put a sign out front yeah. and and then that's more zillow and then people go over to zillow so i think it's it's a no-brainer for them i don't agree with yeah. it you know but it's i think it's a no-brainer for them with seemingly endless money <laughs> it's a different uh, mindset for the market 